Okay, for today's video, let's visit a cafe na nakita ko sa TikTok. It looks interesting. So, before we go there, let me show you some interesting sp uh, spots here for me. So, let's go. Before I go directly to the cafe, I quickly pass by my former school. Dito ako nag-aral from grade school to high school, so almost a decade of my life I've spent here. I wasn't able to film inside the school kasi sarado siya, but I've made some good memories and good friends here that I still treasure up to today. If you don't already know, I live here in Las Piñas. This is a city in the southern part of Metro Manila. If I would describe this city in a joke, para siyang subdivision na tinubuan ng city kasi um, Las Piñas is basically a residential area that is composed of different subdivisions. Our main mode of transportation here are tricycles and they have different colors depending on their route. We only have one main highway here which is Alabang Sapote Road which is a highway passing through the boundary of Las Piñas and Cavite going to Montenlupa. Since nga Las Piñas is composed of different subdivisions, it is a pain in the ass to travel dito pagka wala kang friendship sticker. This is me getting stopped by the guards to enter this subdivision. A friendship sticker allows you to pass through in and out of subdivisions here in Las Piñas. Anyways, I was asked by the guard to enter a different gate para makapunta ako sa pupuntahan itong cafe. Kaya nga lang, I'm not familiar with the area na papasukan ko. So, after a few minutes of biking, I got lost. I need to pull over. I check Google Maps and then I uh, continue biking going to Tablo Kitchen Cafe. But unfortunately, I got lost again, so I had to pull over again, check Google Maps, and after two tries of getting lost, finally find yung Tablo Kitchen Cafe. But unfortunately, they are crowded at the time, so I didn't bother going in. And kahit na nastap ako ng guard and I got lost twice, I wasn't really frustrated. Kasi along the way, when I got lost, I bumped into my old childhood friend na matagal ko nang hindi nakikita, who relocated in that area, tapos I was able to encounter abandoned kittens in the middle of the road. So, kailangan ko silang itabi sa daan kasi masasagasaan sila. And on my way home, I was able to witness a beautiful sunset. I don't think this video will justify the beauty of the sunset because of the limited capabilities of my camera. So alam yun, it was still worth it para sa akin and you can always try again if things didn't work out for your first time. So I'll be back again to that cafe once my lift tong ECQ natin. And by the way, I shot this video, I shoot yung mga parts ng video na to, yung mga out outdoor parts ng video na to. Before tayo magbalik sa ECQ, tinamad na nga lang ang tapusin pag edit nito once na nagbalik na tayo sa ECQ so yun lang that's where I would end this video